So here it is, the Samsung Galaxy S22. We're going to make a clear setup now. The Android version is still running and we have to make a setup first. So Dobro Lothi, in different languages, we will uh, get here a welcome to it. Of course, we can here make an emergency call on the left um, side if we have to do this. Um, or we can here um, make a little bit um, accessibilities, front size, screen zoom, high contrast keyboard, and, 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 okay. So here we go. Let's go to the next step. We can make here um, the language, choose now English, for example, Austria, New Zealand, Philippines, United States, what you like. Then go to next here. We are now looking for the privacy policy to see it. We can agree this all. We have to read this all and we does not need to agree all. This is an optional thing, sending of diagnostic data um, as you like. This, the, the upper side, we have to agree because this is the main term of this contract between, um, between the Samsung um, or the Android version and us here. So let's go to the next step. Now we have to choose our Wi-Fi network because our phone needs to call home before we can use it uh, proper. So now we have to choose a Wi-Fi network, which is near me. Now we have to enter the password. The password you can find at the administration guy um, in your household, or you're looking under, often you're looking under your router. There it is written often. <laughs> then we have to enter this password to uh, connect to our Wi-Fi network. Connect. Now we are connecting to Wi-Fi and it is searching now for a SIM, the eSIM, which is not found here. Okay. Why it was searching for an eSIM? Because I does not install any nano SIM into it. If you have a slot for the nano SIM or you have nano SIM, you install it and it will not um, look for an eSIM. So we can skip this or we can, um, we can add an eSIM, of course. If you have an eSIM, add it, of course. So we're now getting our phone ready. This may take a few minutes because now the phone is calling home to Samsung network and says, uh, say there, I am um, making a setup here. Is this okay? And Samsung says, okay, welcome to the, to the world. Now we can choose copy apps and data. We can choose to transfer our apps, photos, contacts, Google account and more. If we like that, if we have a backup, we can make this. For example, we go to the next, we use our old device. We, we used an Android or an iPhone or an iPad version. Here we can choose this and then we can um, transfer these data into this new device. But we do not do this, okay? So we go back a little bit because not everyone has another old uh, version or or you like to have this transfer because you, you, we are going to make a clear new uh, uh, um, a clear new setup with that device. So the next step is we will need a Google account. A Google account is um, is the main key to enter all the Google family um, apps and um, data and of course everything. On, and Android. Now, Android is, um, is is running with the Google account, so we have to create a Google account. Create a Google account, then we will need an um, email account. You can make this by Google Mail, of course, or you use your own, and we will need a password. So this creation of this Google account is for free. That's, you do, does not have to pay for it. And then we enter it here. Otherwise, mm, we will not have the um, all features ready of the Android version. So we, we should make this. It's a, it better because it's an Android system. Enter your email or phone number of your Google account and then a password. So here we are. Now, the system asks us, who will be using this device here? 
We can use it by ourselves or we can use it by the child. Will we use this device? In this case, in the child device, we can make a little bit of um, extra settings for use time and where, forbidden areas and so on. But we are not, we, we, of course, we are uh, using this by ourselves. So now here we are. Google terms and conditions um, and services, we have to agree this. Um, otherwise, we can not um, add into our account. So we have to agree this Google terms of services. Now we get in the account information and we can um, go on with it. If we have an, uh, uh, um, an Android version before, so here it is, the Galaxy S22 backup, it is um, possible to restore this device with that backup, of course. But we does not do that right now. And now we can choose the Google services which are pre-installed here on this. We can back up to Google Drive if we like. No, that's the same to make a backup system of your um, account. We lose use allocations. This is this is a basic feature to to use uh, maps, for example. Allow scanning, Wi-Fi networks, nearby devices, send usage and diagnostic data, install updates and apps. We can if we can switch this on or the um, activate this if we or um, if you like, you can choose. We can um, now choose our search engine, Google, of course, but there are other on the market. Accusia, DuckDuckGo, Microsoft Bing, Yahoo, Quendum, and so many more. You can choose not only one, you can choose a lot of, as you can like. This is the standard way. And then we can go to the next step. Of course, you can download the apps later too. Protect our phone. Face recognition, fingerprints, pattern, pin, or password. You can choose what um, what what you like to protect, what you're going to use to protect your phone. Mm, I think the face recognition is, I think it's not so good on these um, devices. The fingerprints is another good option. Pattern and pin, password is, is, is like the old school thing. Fingerprints or face recognition you can choose. So let's perform the face recognition because this is, um, I think this is the easiest way to unlock your phone, but it's, it's, it's not so good working. For the face recognition, you can see some information. So let's um, um, try this and we can make it after we now enter a pattern, a pin or a password. So we are going to make a pin one, two, three, four, five, next, continue. One, two, three, four, five, next, continue. This is not good. This pass password, of course, you at home will make a bad one. So now our face has to be in this area. So make a line up here. Here we are. Hello. And you can see it uh, shows me that I wear glasses. That's good. Let's go continue without glasses. Now it's scanning my face, but um, it, it's like a photo. It's not a deaf scanning thing like uh, like another brand does this. But it's okay, it, it works. So we can now here choose stay on the lock screen until swipe, require open eyes, brighten screen as we like. We can choose here. Everything has... Um, good thing or not the good things or good thing for the battery, a good thing for the phrase or recognition system, you can choose by yourself. So now let's go to the next step. Access our app system with Hey Google. If we like to use Hey Google, um, we can agree that or we can skip it. I think it's a good thing. We can access our system without unlocking your device. This means if you have a lock screen, you can use Hey Google, now you can use your assistant. I agree. Now review additional apps. All these apps will be pre-installed if we go to the next. From Google itself, this comes um, on every Android device. But here you can choose. You can choose, you can choose, or you can this. 
like this and then this dot as this as you like you can choose what what's going on with your uh, pre-installed app if you make your decision now we can get our phone ready in a minute but i think there comes another thing because we have here not that was the android part now it comes the samsung part <laughs> okay the samsung part is we, we have to create a samsung account we share files with friends family and even our other devices we find our lost phone even if it's in the offline we restore our settings and sync our apps if you like this you can make account you um does not need a samsung account of course because in the android version nearly all things are included but of course here it is a samsung device so now we can make an uh, make an account with it and for this of course we have to enter our email address there and a password after this and then we can enter into it it's the same the samsung account is for free you can uh, create an account easily and then you can fill up here you enter here your email address after this you enter here your password and then you go to the next step so now we are um, making a little bit adjustment about our Samsung account. We use the car customization services. This is optional news. Um, we get news and special offers. This is an optional news. We turn on the offline finding optional as we light. This is a good thing, I think. So I agree with that now. And now we can go to the next step. And of course, um, here, Samsung itself does have a backup system. You can make an auto um, backup of all data daily. You can make an um, apps synchronization by calendar contacts, notes, and more. You can choose this or you does not need it. Continuity services, customized services, nearby device scanning, smart suggestion. You can choose it, but you do not have to choose this. So we are all set up. So now we can go to finish or we explore our galaxy. Now let's have a look what's exploring here. Wow, here we are, a little bit tutorial, as you can see. We, we, we get now starting by swiping a little bit here. This is swiping over your screen. And here are some information about your new device. Okay, that's cool. Now finish and we are in. This is the new area. Here we are. How we can use this? We go right and left. We can go swipe down a little bit. Then we can see it in notifications. This notifications we can clear. We can clear all them. We, um, we can make it notification settings, for example. Then we can here look what in the notification should be shown. Um, but there's more, of course. Here's Wi-Fi. There's um, sound, Bluetooth, rotation log. Um, here are flight modes flashlight and so much device control is possible here and on, on the bottom side you can see one two three buttons this means if we are in 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 in, in an app for example let's go to an app here is an app and we go to that icon in the center we go to the home screen if we have still running apps in the back side in the background um, we can make this here and then we see the um running apps and we can make a hot uh shift to it if you like or we can close it if we have a lot of uh, running apps we can close on then are all apps are closed but not um not deleted of course and if we go back to the next menu we can use this here okay here we are if we're going to the left side you can see some google informations if we go from the bottom up we can see here the searching bar and of course we can enter into all apps which are installed on this phone easily then of course we have one button here this is the lock button and the power button to unlock it again we have to push on the button or we push and knock on the phone then we swipe up and we enter a pin or we use our um, face recognition here we are Zack. you can see and here's volume down volume up here's more on the left on the right side you can see here is an um 
notification center or a uh, fast access app uh, area. And here you can make a telephone call. Here you can make um, messages. Here you can go to the internet by the Samsung browser. Here is the camera system. In the camera, you can see you can choose photo. You can make videos. You can make portraits. You can make more with this all here. And you can, of course, go to and use the um, different um, camera systems. We have three of them. Then we can use your own uh, um, to choose the um, resolution. FHD, HD, 30 frames, full HD, ultra HD, for example. You can make the flash on and off. You can rotate to, to the other side. You now can see it's a face cam, it's possible. And to make a picture or to make a, a video, you can push here or you push there. Yeah, that means volume up, volume down you can use, or you push on the center. To use this, it is really easy. Of course, in the Play Store, you can find a lot of new awesome apps. Uh, often they are free to download, and then you can gain up your experience with that Android version here. This is the you know, Galaxy uh, the Samsung Galaxy S22. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me positive feedback. And I hope to see you again on my channel. Soon, soon.